Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, Cameron Pertuzzi, who is now a Catholic, but in the time of recording this video that I'm about to show you was a Protestant, asked Bishop Barron, should he become a Catholic? And Bishop Barron responds. Let's see what he has to say. Should I become Catholic? Uh, yes, is my blunt answer. Uh, now, Why? if you want to press that, because it's the fullness of truth, and I want to share that with you. It's... Uh, something I've come to love and reverence as the fullness of truth, and stay with Cardinal George, all the gifts Christ wants his people to have, why wouldn't I want to share those with you? Why wouldn't I want to offer all that to you? Um, now, if you want to press the issue, well, does that mean I'm damned? No, no, that's not Catholic teaching. You know, that a non-Catholic, even a non-Christian, can be saved. Now, my critics, please listen to what I'm saying and not saying. I'm not saying, will be saved. I have no... Has they can be saved. That's the, the Catholic teaching. So if you, I wouldn't press it so much immediately in that direction. I would say I've got something I found so beautiful and so compelling, and of course I want to share it with you. Yeah, let's let's talk more about that. You said that in Catholic teaching, you can't non Christians can be saved. Where is that? Where is that in the in Catholic teaching? Uh, Lumen Gentium sixteen. So at the Second Vatican Council. Um, that Jesus is the fullness of salvation. If anyone's saved, he or she is saved through Christ. But there are participations in the grace of Christ on offer, even in other Christian religions, even in non-Christian religions. Vatican II goes so far as to say, even in a non-believer of goodwill, following his conscience, is in fact following and responding to the grace of Christ, though he doesn't clearly know that. So John Henry Newman, for example, calls the conscience the aboriginal vicar of Christ in the soul. Beautiful description. Um, it is, in fact, Christ calling me to be a, an upright person and so on. So one can be saved in these indirect ways by means of a participation in the grace of Christ. That would be Catholic teaching. So th that seems on the face of it and maybe maybe it's not at, at a, like a sort of deeper level but that seems to be in conflict when i go to catholic mass as a protestant i can't partake in the eucharist why why is that if if non cat if no, yeah if non catholics that's out of respect can be for you that's out of respect for you because when i as a catholic priest hold up the transubstantiated host and i say the body of christ i'm proposing to you what catholics uh, hold this to be when you say amen, you're saying I agree to that. I accept that. I respect your lack of belief in it. So I'm not going to put you on the spot and say the body of Christ and force you to say amen. So I, I turn that around. I don't think it's Catholics being inhospitable. I think it's Catholics respecting the, the non-belief of non-Catholics. I'm not going to compel you to say amen to that proposition until you're ready. You know. So I, I don't see it as, as aggressive or exclusive by any means. Hmm. And, you know, it's... Uh, I, I'd like to draw you into the fullness of Catholicism. That means the Mass, ultimately, absolutely. So what I most want to share with you is the Eucharist. That's what I want to share with you. That's that's the uh, body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus. That's the fullest sign of his presence on earth. That's what I want to share with you. But it, but you're not you're not there. You don't accept it. I'm not going to put you on the spot. So no, no I, I don't read it at all as some kind of you know exclusive move. I find Bishop Barron's response to Cameron Bertuzzi very, very interesting. The first thing that kind of sparked my attention was this idea of, I want to bring you into the fullness of truth. Now, maybe some Catholics in the comment section can help me out on this one, but it seems to me that there's no sense that the truth could be <laughs> partaken of in kind of like an 85%. And if you have 85% of the truth, I want to bring you into 100% of the truth. It seems to me that truth is it's either true or it's false. It's either 100% or 0%. This idea in Vatican II is quite interesting to me, and I would like to, again, have some more Catholics chime in in the comments and let me know what you guys think about this. Um, is there some Catholics that would say that Vatican II is wrong? Is there like a liberal traditional um, uh, polarization within Catholicism? I really don't know. I haven't really studied any of this, so I would like to know that answer, but it seems to me that the better answer would be um, either you become a Catholic and are saved 
or you don't become a Catholic and are saved. That's why I think that Bertuzzi's question about the Eucharist is very, very um, accurate in the sense of it would seem that if you are a Catholic, you would need to partake in the Eucharist um, in, in order to be saved. And if you had kind of an open pluralistic viewpoint that you would be willing to allow other religions and other sects of Christianity to partake in the Eucharist as kind of a sign and seal to the fact that that is what Vatican II actually teaches. Um, I do appreciate um, Bishop Barron's response in, I do kind of see kind of like a C.S. Lewis, God is a gentleman, and I can also see how the Catholic Church would be gentlemanly if they didn't force people, you know, kind of put them on the spot uh, to, to kind of unveil their unbelief, so to speak during a Catholic Mass. It, I, I can see how it is consistent with the fact that just allowing people to participate in the Mass, if they're, or at least be a part in the, the service, I guess you could say, um, is is very, very inclusive. But man, I, I just don't know. I, I, I'm not sure um, that that view of truth makes sense to me in the sense that there could be, um, you could have half-truth. I mean, a half-truth seems to me to also be a half-lie. And if, if it's a half-lie, how could it be anywhere remotely to the truth? I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking that. Anyways, please be sure to let me know what you think uh, on this topic. Um, maybe some great, I would like some Catholics to chime in. I know I've said that a lot. And provide me with some good um, resources for Vatican II on how to understand some of these different issues. I really haven't studied it, and I would like to, and I would like to know more about it. All right, that's all I have for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.